Black Ops 2 Zombies, 11 years later. How does it fare in 2024? Also, leave a like if you want Black Ops 3 next. The sound of PTSD washes over you as you spawn in on the worst zombies map ever? Question mark? Transit releases with BO2 on November 12th, 2012. It's one of those games you pitched 10 outside of GameStop for. We couldn't have been more excited for it. And at first, we weren't too disappointed. We're at this bus station. There's a bus. It's already about to leave us. Oh, I should probably grab the jet gun. No, we can do that later. Here we are at the diner. Not so scary until we reach this shed. I'm a little bit sussed out now. What do we got in here? Another part. In order to illustrate why this map is potentially the worst map of all time, definitely one of the worst designed maps ever, all I have to do is simply play it. I'll explain as we go. Right off the bat, we're made to believe that this bus is some sort of safe haven, which couldn't really be further from the truth. A, because he's constantly leaving you behind. He goes on his own schedule, and if you do not align with it, you are fucked. Additionally, look at how many barriers are here. Look at how many points of entry there are. And yeah, you got the B23R up here, I understand. And that's our source of ammo. But, <laughs> I mean, you are so vulnerable. I promise you he leaves without us. Watch it happen. Now that we're at the power station, we have to find three parts to conveniently build the power switch. I don't believe we've ever had to do that up until this point. In this corner, at 215 pounds, six foot four, made of pure electricity and testosterone. It's avocado. Yay, he didn't leave without us. He's leaving right now as I speak, but he didn't leave without us yet, which is kind of impressive. No, are you kidding already? No, don't leave me. No, don't leave me. I can make it. I can make it if you just slow down a little bit. Oh God, what is that? Oh no, no, I'm being in the face. My sub little gremlin! Jug is up here, that's right. Mind you, I have the hindsight of knowing how to play this map, obviously, but imagine playing this for the first time. Another inconspicuous closet with the part that I've actually been looking for. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Jeez, I hope this riggedy old bridge can hold us up. Oh, it can't? And there are thousands of zombies pouring in right now? Holy sh! that boy fast oh my god avogadro are you spawned in are you serious i am totally ill prepared for this we might as well just spin the box i guess do we build a shield while we're here let's find those parts here's the car door what do we get ray gun okay i'm not gonna complain i'm gonna grab this and get to knifing come here you little ugh. 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 there we go Finally, we're gonna cop these even though it's only a one knife until around 14. We also get the brand new zombie shield, which reappears several times afterwards, but makes its debut on this map. I'm not actually gonna hold it for very long because I need the turbine anyways. And look who's back from the convenience store. Did you get your new ports? While we're back at farm, I'm gonna cop some double tap two the brand new perk which instead of just increasing the rate of fire by two increases the damage by two as well shooting two bullets out for every one this is the path we're looking for right that leads us to nocturne towing for some reason looks familiar huh this map is located in there's the part we're looking for the North Pacific region of the United States and the original Nocturne Tone is in Germany, so it geographically makes zero sense at all. I'm sure it makes sense somehow, and that lore just went over my head, but it, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, convenient. Let's see if we can hop on without getting murdered. Nice. Now that we're back at Power Station, we're going to begin the Pack-a-Punch process, which is far and away the most painstaking, back-breaking, excruciating, spirit-crushing pack-a-punch process of all time. We take this turbine that's already been hit several times and hopefully won't break. We place it right in front of this door, charge it up, make sure that the zombie doesn't hit it. Just so I make sure I'm not crazy, it's on, it's going. If my calculations are correct, we got a first throw grenade there. Blow the door open, blow the other door open. Come on. Do the thing. I don't have unlimited grenades here, buddy. Thank you. Bust this other door open. And then 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ow. Did I break the door open? I did. Please tell me it's- No! F it should be open! That was the whole point of doing that, what I just did! Hey, you! Yeah, you. Need new earbuds or just better ones? Tired of perpetually running through cheap, crappy ones like I used to? Then you should try Raycon, the best combination of quality, convenience, and affordability earbuds have to offer. I started off using them even before they were kind enough to send me a pair, specifically for the gym, but use them for virtually everything now at this point housework, yard work, you name it. They're slick, noise isolating for increased focus, have customizable audio profiles and tip sizes for your specific ear, and have an incredibly long 32 total hour, eight hour playtime battery life. They're up for whatever you are. They also have lots of other products and kits like headphones, speakers, and so much more. And please take advantage of this Mother's Day sale by saving 20% plus free shipping at buyraycon.com forward slash Tim Hansen. Again, 20% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com forward slash Tim Hansen. Even if you're already covered, it'd still make a neat Mother's Day gift. If not for your mom, your friend's hot mom. Wink. This is the new banking system for all newcomers. You can deposit points and then withdraw them later on. It's a bit broken because you can accumulate tens of thousands of points in a game, throw them in there, and then in a separate game altogether, re-grab them so that you can buy everything you need on round one. So that's good or horrible, depending on how you look at it. We're going to start building our Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23. We only have one of the four parts. Now we're going to go back into the wilderness. <laughs> Found the cabin. It's real spooky. I don't remember what the lore behind this is. Didn't Russman crash in this bed or something? I don't know. While we're running around looking for these parts, let me just explain to you why this map is as awful as it is. As if all the gameplay in and of itself up to this point hasn't been a good enough explanation. This map was way too aspirational for its own good. It was way beyond its time. This BO2 engine could not handle all of what Transit aimed out to do, which was to be the most innovative, expansive zombies map ever. The overall concept, of course, is a bus taking you throughout an entire region from stop to stop. You get multiple different experiences all in one collective one. But the map was so big. Oh, what is this? Some church thing? Where the heck am I? Did I take the shortcut on accident? There's a shortcut. I did! I'm out of town already! F yeah. Unfortunately, the map was so big, it frequently crashed while testing, especially when moving at high speeds on the bus, running with stamina up, etc. So, Treyarch, in order to make the map, had to fluff out the engine and create some barriers to slow the player down, which directly resulted in all of the fog you see the lava you step on constantly, and the face that never leave me alone! All of it was injected purely to resolve a pre-existing issue within the engine. Please be open. Uh, well, at least I can get a wonder weapon just by building it and I don't have to spin the box forever. That's a cool bonus, huh? Cool. Whoa, 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 what? I, 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 I didn't even know that was possible. Can you fall out of the map? I'm not even going to try at this point. Should I? No. I need this footage, but can you just fall out of the map? Oh, hey, what's up, dickhead? Want to let me in? Let me in! Drive. Head. I'm so over this. I'm so pissed off right now. You have no idea. And now that all of my revives are gone, we can get into the action. <laughs> it just drops my jet gun here. Yeah, that's right. We can't have both. Can you just, yeah, just, just break it. Just break it. Maybe it has to be a fully unbothered turbine. Maybe it has to be specifically on that piece of wood. I don't know. But what I do know is I am losing my patience. Please, God. Thank you. And now that we've put in all of that effort, we have the privilege of building 
the pack-a-punch machine. We're gonna chill down here until we can hopefully get enough to pack both these guns because, frankly, if we leave, I don't know what's gonna happen. Are we gonna get kicked out again? Is that turbine gonna break? I don't know. We're gonna try our best to camp down here. It's probably gonna end in tragedy. Ten seconds later. How about we die? How about we die? No, what? There was a nuke! I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it! And I'm guessing the jet gun is... Grabbable still? That's good. That's at least good. The jet gun's still there and grabbable, which is great news, actually. It only breaks when you overcharge it. It doesn't break by the zombies breaking it, which is some sort of silver lining, I guess. And to rub salt in the wound here, town has pack-a-punch, jug, stamina up. Lots of nice things, but you know what it doesn't have? <laughs> a gun. If the box isn't here, you cannot get a gun in town. The most popular part of the map doesn't have a source of ammo other than a max ammo or if the box is around here. Back when the ray gun was still somewhat respectable. You don't have PhD, water weapons are getting better, but we're not quite at the point where you look at it and cringe. <laughs> we have enough to throw this in, why not? And that may be all she wrote with Pack-a-Punch. Look at Marlton's hand when I switch. Uh, uh, uh. Now I'm gonna use the jet gun here for display purposes. Give it a quick shot. It overcharges pretty much instantly. It sucks you into the horde. Yes, you have infinite ammo, it recharges, but it takes an eternity to recharge. Let's just break it. Oh, I died. Okay. <laughs> It, I didn't even need to explain why it was bad. The, the jokes write themselves. How many times has Nuketown been done? We don't know. We will never know because it continues to be done over and over and over again. But since this was over 11 years ago and directly followed the majorly successful BO1 multiplayer map, this was still fresh at the time. This was the first launch DLC, meaning it launched with the game, but unlike a 5, for example, where you had to beat the campaign to unlock it, you had to purchase it for $5 separately or the entire bundle, which, as we know, set a precedent that would not only continue, but evolve over the years, spending more and more on maps that launched with the game. Even though it's not some giant, expansive, innovative map, it is a good juxtaposition to the overwhelming transit. It's a fun, mindless survival map. It is pretty challenging, as we will find out. But far from the headache, that is for sure. The only thing I really do not like, transit bus sound for some reason, the only thing I really don't like about this map is the random perk spawn. Every few rounds or so, when the population counter decreases, something drops from the sky. We already have Quick Revive down here, obviously. Hoping Jug is next. If we have to wait until round 20 to get it, I'm going to be pissed off. There isn't a lot of space. That's the other thing that makes this tricky. We're going to grab Galvies. Crap, we need to clear the boxes out of the way first. I grab Galvies on pretty much every map they're available on because they are goaded. How do I get in there without dying? Like that. Ugh! My oh my, we just keep finding stuff and it's Jug! Honestly... I'm, I'm happy with that. Nuketown happens at the exact same time as Moon. You may remember sending those rockets to Earth and exploding it. That hasn't happened yet. As of this exact moment, Samantha is still in control of the zombies. Their eyes are yellow. She's still the announcer. The reason why this map is already f***ed up is because there was a giant explosion from the Broken Arrow facility, blah, 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 no one cares. The CDC and CIA come to investigate, hence why I'm wearing a hazmat suit right now. About round 25 is when Rick Toffin officially swaps souls with Samantha, therefore the zombie's eyes become blue, and Rick Toffin is the announcer. Mid-game. And at the end of the game, we all know the iconic bomb-dropping outro, which is the bomb hitting Earth from Moon. The Nuketown exclusive M20. Yeah, no recoil. It's basically the commando. No, I, I don't know how I got stuck, but you just find ways, don't you, Tim? Oh, I did the glitch thingy. I've experienced this before on Kino. Now there are two boxes. 
but instead of both of them working, this one doesn't work. It's a very basic map. There isn't a whole lot to talk about. It's a very good map for that reason, though. It's something that you and your friends throw on and kick back with when you're having a late night fun sesh, you know? Just not having to think about Easter eggs and all this extravagant stuff. It's all about just chilling out. Not really, because it's actually super difficult and chaotic as hell with multiple people, but something you don't really have to think much about. Is this it? It's round 25. Yeah. Okay. Is it coming from this TV? Yeah, that's Rick Toffin. Swapping souls with the little girl. Taking his rightful claim over the entire multiverse. Their eyes are blue. Here we go. Is the music different too? Sound. Music. Okay. It is. You know what the fire sale music usually sounds like. Oh, I love this. I think it's like this on Moon too. One debt to society later. Oh my god! Over a hundred thousand points. I just dumped in right there, plus every other hit prior to that. So we're talking almost two hundred thousand points, well over two hundred box spins. And I finally Get it. I'm gonna be completely honest. I've been sitting here for like a half hour spinning the box. Now, what's fascinating about the Mark II being on this map is it actually wasn't when the game came out. Buried introduced this wonder weapon, and then it was retroactively added to all the prior maps. Kind of like how Mule Kick was in BO1. We're going for headshots. It's still really good. Could you imagine high rounding without this thing? You'd have the OG ray gun, and that's it. No traps. No Mark II. Not even a jet gun. Say what you will about the jet gun, but it does infinite damage. Even though it's a piece of crap, it always breaks. I don't know why I'm spinning the box. I have PTSD from spinning the box. There's literally not a reason to do it anymore. It's it's ingrained in me at this point. I... Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. So I spent 10 f hours trying to get the Mark II and then I die immediately. Ugh. <sighs> Well, that's Nuketown. That about sums that up. Time for the greatest zombies map of all time! My favorite, certainly. Die. Rise. Get it? It's like high rise. The same new four insufferable characters from Transit carry over here, lighting Tower 2 after having lit the first one on Transit. There are two different Easter egg paths you can choose from. Maxis or Richtofen, who are both at war trying to reclaim control... I do appreciate the super easter egg concept. It's a fine one. It's the equivalent of those choose your own fate books where you flip to a certain page and you get the ending you want, but if you hate it, you can go back and redo it. You have multiple different possibilities, lots more content to enjoy. I'll use the word enjoy loosely though because this is the second Victus map. This is Die Rise and right behind Transit is potentially the worst designed map of all time. I will give it some credit for being the first of its kind for taking a leap of faith, being the first major vertically inclined zombies map ever, which works for some people, but for the majority doesn't. Hence why it's one of the worst maps ever, in my humble opinion, of course. We get a new Trample Steam buildable to help us traverse this series of towers. But I don't ever build it because it's kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm just going to ignore it. And then complain about how much I hate this map. <laughs> uh! There's a key somewhere here, too. Oh, there we go. How many points do I have? Let's just grab... Oh, don't, don't die! No! 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 Oh, God. Let's just grab all of our points. Power switch is nice and easy, at least. We can get these perk machines going. Jug, hell yeah, right off the bat. And the only other redeeming quality of this map is the wonder weapon not only is it easy to get but it is one of the best wonder weapons of all time it's pretty close to infinite damage it can carry all the way to around 100 pretty easily if you're good at using it am i good at using it not particularly the devs were like you know what we really enjoyed the buildable wonder weapon concept but maybe this time we make it a little less aids and put the pieces a little bit closer so that it's easy to build hey i'm not complaining about that I will gladly take and enjoy. Naturally, on a giant skyscraper map, you have elevators to help you traverse it. These elevators move around a lot, inconsistently, one could say. And 
guess what, contain our beloved perks and pack a punch. But at the end of the day, the elevators aren't scratching the surface of the issues of this map. It really all comes down to falling and jumping, which I'm going to try to successfully do without the trample steam right here. Ugh! Yes. Okay. All right. We live to see another day. It's a little bit early to be dying. Sliquifier, save me! Die! No! What the f***? No. No! It hit me at the last second! <laughs> Who's who? Yes, the goaded perk. We need that in our lives right now! Free perk, question mark? We gotta get 100% accuracy. Melee only. One for one. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> that was really unnatural. Two for two. Three for three. I love the way they crawl up here. <laughs> four for four. Man, it's giving me a good chunk of time to... <laughs> five for five. Why can they hop around everywhere, but then they have to crawl their way up like... Ooh, we got Mule King. At this point, we've pretty much got the entire die rise experience i already plummeted to my death once the fall damage but moreover plummeting to your death is die rise's biggest problem there are other problems don't get me wrong but those are smaller more copable when you are worried more about plummeting to your death than the actual zombies killing you you have a major issue it doesn't really exist on any other map it takes away greatly from the point of the game mode which is to combat the actual zombies especially if you're pouring hours and hours of your life into it just for it to instantly end not at the hands of the actual enemy kind of infuriating and it wouldn't be such an issue if there were better ways to combat this there are instead catalysts towards this issue, towards your death. The Slukifier, fantastic wonder weapon, one of the best ever, but you slip around! Like, it's gonna fling you off the f map! The only redeeming quality ends up killing you ultimately even faster. Well then, what could have potentially negated these issues? Gee, I don't know, a perk that negates fall damage? Flopper, hello? It was tailor-made for this map. It would have worked brilliantly but instead they add who's who which is quite possibly the worst perk of all time it's fun it's meme worthy i get it it's better than not having anything new but to actively tease phd acknowledge the issue and then give us a perk which is horrible for a vertically inclined map it is not a good map and we even acknowledged this back in 2013 we understood that zombies was experiencing the beginning of a downfall you had Transit, Nuketown, which is fun, but insignificant, and then Die Rise, back to back to back. The lead dev at the time was still Jimmy Zielinski, who was in charge of World of War and BO1, had lots of success with those games, but that flame was dimming and ready to burn out entirely by the time this map rolled around. It was time for a change. Zombies as we knew it was dying, which is why the next map, spoiler, is so important. No more free perks, right? That's right. Damn, why you gotta blue ball me like that? I will say, the Die Rise hate has been slightly inflated. It is like beating a dead horse at this point. Transit went through that. So many people were on Transit that it just became, after being cool for a long time, uncool. There is some bit of a reason to play this map, you could argue, because it's at least different. I think the verticality ruins this map, but if you enjoy that kind of thing, it gives you a reason to play it above every other map. So it at least stands out. It's up to you to decide whether it is a negative or positive standout. The majority of people have decided it is negative, but hey, it's unique. And I will say to some degree, not to the degree of transit, this map was limited by the BO2 engine. If it were in a future game, Traversing this map would be a lot easier. A lot of these issues would be erased, but unfortunately you have to work within the confines of what you have. Another example of being too aspirational for its own good. No! No! Give it! Give it to me. I swear to God. This is so toxic. This is so toxic. 
I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. I, the, I, I like the, the the jokes write themselves. No. Uh, okay, I'm going to the who's who. Nice. Nothing like a ketamine trip with only a starting pistol. <laughs> what the f is who's who? Why do people? Son of a bitch. And now time for the single greatest zombies map ever? Question mark? The GOAT intro cinematic, by the way. I would watch it with you if I haven't watched it 200,000 times already. Mob of the Dead comes out on April 16th, 2013, 10 plus years ago. And as far as I'm concerned, saved Call of Duty from what was, let's be completely honest, an imminent spiraling downfall at the time. It seemed to be limping to an underwhelming finish line, but then all of a sudden we had a complete curveball change of pace and direction with mob of the dead a completely new storyline the easiest way to illustrate why this map is so phenomenal is to well like every map in the video kind of just play through it based very similarly on the real alcatraz escape story four prisoners are sent to alcatraz to atone for their sins their crimes but are sick of it and plot and escape naturally but the plan sucks and they kill the weasel for making such a crappy plan and then are killed themselves for killing their friend and sent to the electric chair and are now stuck in afterlife purgatory hell on earth whatever you want to call it which is a great meta because they were able to integrate it so beautifully into the gameplay. And they're doomed to repeat the same thing for eternity until the cycle is broken by completing the Easter egg with the weasel killing the other three prisoners as revenge. And to then add all of these elements of the Illuminati and the devil, it's a masterclass of storytelling, character development, and then of course map design. An entirely new dev team takes over headed by Jason Blundell who create, instead of what was Transit and Die Rise, some of the most intricate, deep, well put together amazing flowing zombies maps to ever exist sorry there's just a ton to cover hopefully my monologue is doing this map any sort of justice no single square inch of the map is wasted everything is useful the spacing is fantastic and though while yes things aren't as simple as the good old days air quotes i think it was a much needed progression for the moat because things were beginning to become stale Let's be honest. And that's coming from someone who's like a major BO1 fanboy. I don't actually mind charging each individual thing up in this map with Afterlife. It can be perceived as tedious. I view it as mastering a process. Once you get the process down, it feels all the better. You get to control everything in a whole new way. Good thing there's an Uzi wall by at every corner of this map. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. They knew that Zimmy was going to buy at all times. Right now, we're just collecting the plane parts, of course, so we can get off this rock. And to get is something as special as the Hell's Retriever, which isn't even the main wonder weapon on the map. Just for feeding some pooches, which I would have gladly done anyways, because they're adorable. Oh, God. But this is the time <laughs> where Brutus makes his appearance. I know. I know. He's He'll be back. And the brand new electric cherry perk... Who could forget that? Hang on, I want to show you something, guys. See this? See this head? That's Cherry Jerry. Oh, yeah. I think I have to keep the Uzi by law. I also want to try and display all of these really cool new traps on this map. Fan trap, classic. Crafted the plane. Let's GTFO. No! Our plan is ruined. Where's the weasel? I'm gonna put a bullet in his skull. How many Blundergat shot does it take to- Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now it is time to repeat history. The most epic moment in Zombies history. <laughs> While I'm down here, we're gonna flip on this sniper tower. See how effective it is for camping. It's a DSR, it sounds like. Oh, there we go. You gotta do most of the work, but it's basically just like just having a turret on. If we go into afterlife and we shock it, I'm pretty sure we can change it to a launcher. And who could forget teasing two of the most helpful perks for this map. PhD, which would have helped greatly negate the Vitralic Withering Splash damage, and Mule Kick. You know, introduce a bunch of really cool guns unique to this map. The Death Machine, AK, Uzi, etc. But then, 
be the one map that doesn't have mule kick. You have to hop up and electrocute it while it's actually going. I don't think it's actually as good. It makes crawlers, but way more badass. Hydraulic withering. Yes. And now we're gonna go for the golden spork, I guess. We got some time to kill, why not? This is also the first wonder weapon of its kind as far as versatility goes, because you get the base blunder get. You can get it in different ways through the box or by manually getting it, which is awesome. Gives you options. You then have the choice to directly upgrade it to the sweeper or just get the acid get, or if you're smart, do all of the above and get the vitrolic withering. Does the most damage, attracts them like monkey bombs. All right, decrepit bloody hand. Thank you. I don't remember when this stops one-shotting, but I think we have 10-ish rounds left. I believe the best strategy on Mob of the Dead is to train in the cafeteria because the Vitrolic Withering is good enough. The space is good enough. You got a shield location right there to constantly replenish that, which protects you from, you know, exploding. And eventually, when this thing does drop off, you can set the acid trap and let that do the bulk of the work. Just kind of send them in that direction. You know, if they ever want to actually go in that direction. Is this finally a two knife? It is! Oh no! It is a tragic day! Are you kidding me? I gotta say, what I do appreciate about Afterlife is the replacement of Quick Revive. Because Quick Revive is obviously a goaded perk. But it is nice to not have it in substitute of something a little more engaging, interactive, and you do get multiple shots at life, as you can see. I would have been toast in a regular game, and it frees up more perk slots. So, even though this game is pretty much over at this rate, this image goes so hard. Sal, you're a bad person. You deserve to die for your crimes. Yeah, we're not going for world records here, folks. Time for a little buried. Or I guess Resolution 1295. It released on July 2nd, 2013 and was far and away the best of the atrocious Victus family. Buried was far and away the most successful and I think that's because it innovated and succeeded. All of them went out on a limb and gave it a nice, good, hearty swing. Tried to be innovative, but Buried was the only one that seemed to click. It was unique. It took some risks, but wasn't a complete f disaster as a result. Gonna try to get this LSAT. Please. Yes! Yes! And then quick revive. And then the new chuck outlines, which as far as I'm concerned are just free points because other than Galvies, I don't even really buy any of this stuff. Immediately, we go and save the big dummy sitting in his cell. Hello, my giant alcoholic brother. Let's get out of this cage. Here is some bourbon. Straight from Kentucky. Ooh. That whole building is full of parts. The candy helps him grab all the parts for you and build stuff. In this case, nail down the box. He's a super random, but super cool addition to this map. One of the many examples of Barry doing just weird shit. He's doing math. Let him cook. Move, kid. No, 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 no. I have booze for you. Don't run away from me. No, don't run away from your feelings. No. The brand new perk, Vulture Aid, which perfectly embodies Buried now that I'm thinking about it. You see stuff through walls. You get miscellaneous point and ammo drops. And you get a green mist that you can stand in and completely protect yourself. Disguise yourself. You will hold the crawler if I give you the candy next to him. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. You... You killed him! <laughs> yes. Uh, this is so uncomfortable for you, isn't it? This is easily one of the coolest things in Zombies history. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> yes, we got what we needed. The Reagan Mark II. We're gonna risk it all. Grab our double tap. Oh, it's gonna be real easy. It's gonna be a walk in the park. We already got our. Okay, maybe I should like keep walking forward. Oh my God, they're everywhere! Oh, oh no. Hi. Hello. I can just 
melee them. I don't know what I'm doing. Shooting, wasting ammo. Sweet. And now we just chill out, wait for them to pile up. Oh my god. Why are there so many of them? Alright, well that was quick. Please, mule kick. Okay. This is a death corner, I gotta say. But we have enough to upgrade, so... Let's kick in Voltrade for a sec. Throw that in. Make sure we don't get sneak attacked. Oh. Yeah, that's not cool. I don't I don't appreciate the sneak attacks. Damn. Alright. Mule kick. You know, we could go for the time bombs. I'm not particularly interested in revisiting round 19 if I die, so we'll just end you real quick. And kids, remember, if sitting in the corner, mindlessly holding the trigger down the entire game with the paralyzer isn't boring enough, you can use the subsurface resonator instead. I was going to showcase all of the new buildables on transit before I died. Trample steam, not really necessary. The subsurface resonator, though, super useful. No, no, no. I have no words. I have no words. You know what? I A lot of up to this point has been BO2. That was on me. That was on me. That, that was, that was on me. We're ending on a strong note with quite a doozy here. Another goaded intro, but to be honest, I don't want to hear Samantha talk. August 27th, 2013, Origins releases as the final installment to continue on with the Jason Blundell premise storyline. Not as the four mobsters, obviously. But even more excitingly, our four OG characters as their former younger selves. Origins, along with Mob of the Dead, just so happens to be arguably the greatest zombies map ever. And to have them both in the same game as the two debut maps of the Blundell series to come is super impressive. And moreover, just illuminates how big of an identity crisis this game truly has. I know a lot of people are thrown off by the timeline shift. It's actually as simple as this happening in World War One instead of World War II. In the traditional Ultimus storyline, they discover and experiment with Element 115 a lot later during the World War II era. It just so happens that they do it a little bit earlier here during World War I. There was a great war a trillion billion years ago, and they start excavating Element 115 above the site, which just so happens to be in northern France. It's truly one of the most immersive zombies maps ever. If you just look in the sky, you see... So much going on. We're gonna let this giant robot stomp on our balls. Yas. Oh my god, I've made a major error. Oh, hi. Okay, alright, yeah. Panzer sold that. Have you met him? He's kind of a dick, but- Oh, he's dead! Say what you will about the Panzer. I don't really f*** with him either, but super important for a map like this with really powerful wonder weapons, really keeps the balance, adds a ton of urgency in the beginning of the game. I'm gonna try to get all four ultimate staves, and with that, we have fire done, which is my staff of choice, and there goes our first generator. Easily my biggest gripe with Origins, having to go all the way across the map, break the entire flow of the game, so that you can stop these kids from turning off the power and then having to individually charge them all back up. I will take that. I am not going to complain about that. It was pretty funny. This gun is actually better than the lightning staff for sure and pretty close to as good as the fire staff. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Especially for panzers. The thing about Origins is there is so much to do that 90% of it gets edited out naturally. A lot of it is monotonous tasks like this, which is the one major thing you can hold against Origins, that there is so much work to do in order to actually get to the high rounding and the fun. But of course, I would argue that four ultimate stabs and all the other cool shit you get is totally worth it. Have come so far. Please keep going. The journey is yeah, that's the plan. <sighs> oh, God. Nag, nag, nag! Although I would never do this in virtually any other circumstance. Since I already have two phenomenal wonder weapons, I think it's only right that I get a third bullet weapon because I'm pretty sure I need that for the ice staff upgrade anyways. And we cop some mule kick. So I totally just ran out of storage space and had to delete some very chunky files from my computer. 
so I could continue recording. I missed a couple of rounds, but that just goes to show origins. I'm curious to see what the ass end of the staff does on solo. On co-op, you can insta-revive people. That... I guess does that. We'll start off with by far the worst, the lightning staff. Won't carry you very far. I swear this isn't a Wonder Weapon comparison video, but I think it's important to illuminate the differences between the staves because unlike the bows and the hands, the staves are statistically very different from one another, especially in BO2. The lightning staff is not very good at this rate, even in its fully upgraded form. It doesn't really save you. It makes crawlers doesn't get nearly as many kills. Although, it might sound the coolest, I'll give it that. Oh, the charge up to it just sounds so f sweet. Next up, fire. It is substantially better than lightning, but it is not good for the engine. It crashes the game. Between round 50 and 70, you're really rolling the dice. Your engine, your game might just end. It does an effective job. It, it is very good. I'm skipping over wind right now, which would be second. First, the very best, especially for high rounding, is ice. It gets you by far the most amount of kills. And will carry you to round 112 specifically before it starts slowing down. Because that's when the zombie health gets to about 16 million damage, where the ice staff actually is. It doesn't technically have infinite damage. It's without a doubt the high round strategy. It is... The safest long-term bet. Last but not least, the only one with infinite damage, which I'm going to hold on to for the rest of this game, it's wind. Not great for high rounding, not great for longevity. It's not going to be able to carry you as far as the ice, but as far as get the f off me wonder weapons, I think it works a whole hell of a lot better. Ooh, yes. Yes. I have to pick it up or just walk over it? Sweet. One of the bigger innovations in Origins is the new Wonder Fizz machine. The mystery box equivalent of perks, except even though I grabbed the new perk bottle, I can, for whatever reason, only carry five. Wow. I love that skip movement. No, no! What the f***, dude? I was gonna go get the G-Strikes. Uh, all right, yeah, monkey bombs don't matter. No, I mean, why would they? You know, through three of them, but you know. I think we're gonna keep it on original because we ain't no betas, right? Correct? I'm not a, I'm not a beta beta. Hellhounds enabled, though, because we're feeling a little bit frisky. This is the only map of all time other than Noct without anything, and we're CDC peeps, even though I- I, Whoa! Th I thought we got Look. tuxes. It says- Power. Where are our suits? Where are our fancy schmancy suits? We can't suits? afford no f Hugo Boss suit. They covered it up <laughs> with a tarp, dude. Why? What a sick world is this? I thought this was America. Is not. It's busted. Well, I think it actually technically is America now that I'm thinking about it. No. Yeah. No, like, the world got blown up. Geographically speaking, I opened up the door. Okay, thanks for the heads up, Dad. <laughs> What do you think they have stored in this room that we can't see, that we can't access? Toilet paper. Round prediction? Question mark? I'm thinking... Uh, oh my god, that thing just exploded right in my face. Uh, three. Three. Three? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, I gotta make sure I don't get surrounded though, eh? <laughs> kamikaze. What the f just happened, dude? I kamikaze it. These cars don't look very American. They look kind of like well, that's awfully judgmental. Which one like, in particular? Like, would you ever see a dude driving this? Nah. No. Nah, it is a piece of car for sure. This is like a European car, dude. Get out, get out of here. It's all burn and oh, stuff, too. It. Can't drive that around. Dude, imagine not having a Tesla in... What year is this? 2025? Or is that just the multiplayer? No, that's, that's next year. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in the game, <laughs> mother... Tim, 2025 is next year. It's 2024 right now. I think we're in, like, 2050? I have no idea. No, it's, I'm pretty sure it's 2025. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. Isn't that That's crazy nice. to think about, dude? When we were playing yeah, we don't have any of that 12 years ago, it was... Can you f*** off? What? When we were in 2012 playing this for the first time, it was like, ah, oh, 2025. So far to the future, man. And here we Whoa, are. Man. We're literally there. It's yeah, you're midlife old. crisis time, for sure. Dude, you should go buy a 
Corvette and park it outside of high schools. Vroom, I'm a special little boy. Vroom, vroom. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, selling and date. <laughs> I like buying trucks and ruining them also. Yeah. I want to make them like so they just can't go <laughs> off road at all. I'm just going to rot in my garage for 15 years and I'm just going to consider <laughs> that my after work hobby after I'm done selling to the youth of America. Yeah. We're just going to corrupt the youth. Man, I knew like at least a half a dozen kids that lived that exact lifestyle. Balling. It's very You're just fulfilling. jealous you couldn't do it. True. I got to do this dumb sh I got to play zombies yeah. for a living. Dude, we're playing bus D. I can't even. Oh, it's the online equivalent of some scary dude in Alley being like, hey, kid, click on this video. That's right. I got some candy in here. Leave a like. Something good's going to happen to you. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Stranger Man. The best gun we can get is the Ray Gun Mark II. I, I gotta stop talking to that voice. It's starting to piss me off. Will you just stop what? existing, please? Was it even me? Pick that up and hold it. No. Okay. <laughs> Remembers he doesn't have any jug. <laughs> I think I just... I didn't pick it up. I think I just threw one of mine. I don't even know what's going on. For some reason, my keys aren't uh, what they should be, so I'm kind of just guessing here. I still have a 5.7. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I'm gonna go sit in the... Valley. Oh, okay. I'm coming with you, man. No, 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 no. You don't want to get. No. Oh, look at. Dude, this is going to help both of us. Let me pick this. <laughs> I hate you. Every fiber in my f being. <laughs> what? I'm dying. You are. I Come on. That was my what? one hit. That what? was it. Why do you just immediately, when anything ever bad happens to you, you just blame me? That's like your first well, instinct. I gotta be honest, man. Odds aren't good. Odds you aren't in your favor. How game, did? Dude. How? You ever thought about that? Are you just? Yeah, I, I mean, well. <laughs> I, I, dude, I'm trying. Oh my god, we are terrible. We are so <laughs> bad. Dude, the lava's Round horse, eight. dude. So now we're gonna load up some farm. The most underrated zombies map ever. Question mark? Yeah, farm. Farm, 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 farm. Moo. What do you think they grew on this farm? Do you think this was a yeah. ganj farm back in its prime? Back in its heyday? No, this was just a front. Oh, a money laundering scheme. Trade. Well, okay. Well, I wasn't going <laughs> to wasn't going to head in that direction. I was going to say maybe upstairs they were hiding something. Maybe they had some uh, some pot plants. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We're going to play hide and seek. You're it. You mother Come here. Mm. Uh, I can smell that ass. Oh god. Oh god, I'm scared. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh god, there he is! Come here, you little zombie. Oh, I was trying not to shoot my gun. Now we're gonna get a gun. I'm gonna eat that tank. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh god, he's trying to juke me. Oh god! Come here. Just keep running. Just keep running. Ah! I'm gonna f you out of them boots, boy. Zombie, get him! No! Ow! What's your preferred uh, chip and sandwich combination? Takis with... Is it like a subway order? Should I go over a very specific... Just like where, from sub. wherever, man. Like wherever you get your sandwiches or shit. You know? I used to I used to have a Jersey Mike's near my old apartment, and I would go there constantly. And my order was typically bacon, roast beef, provolone cheese, lettuce, jalapenos, and whatever like vinegar sauce kind of type thingy they had. It was su super, super good. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I had a very specific order and I went there all the time. And okay. if I could combine that with some Takis, dude, that would be a match made in heaven. What about you? I'm weird. Like when I get a sandwich, I don't like all my things to be on top. Like I like to like have them all separate. Oh. So like I like to make my sandwiches at my house. I just get like a turkey sandwich. I get a pickle, some pickles on the side, some tomatoes on the side, and then some funyuns. That's my. Sh yeah. Okay. I can understand eating pickles individually, but you eat just tomatoes on the side raw, dude. Oh, that's. Dude, tomatoes slap. You could put some uh, salt on those. Yeah, you're just talking to the wrong guy. I'm a tomato hater. I'm a tomato you, hater. You. Wow, that's really. But I, I can't really. I can't really talk. Things you've said. I can't really talk because apparently jalapenos on sandwiches are weird. That is weird. What the f is wrong with you? It gives it a nice little tangy no. spice, a little flair to it. No. Makes it taste like sh I just need a bag of Takis and a gallon of milk at the end of the day. A whole <laughs> gallon. I will drink the entire gallon. What'd you get? What'd you get? 
Oh, oh, dude, I made it on top of the thingy, sort of. Not the right thingy, see, but the... See if you can jump up there and hit the box. It's such an unnecessary glitch dude, hack you can just do thing it anyways. Right from the side. Oh, I mean, I like... I think you... What if you... I oh, think you can you just jump right up here from here. It's, it's not even worth it. I'm just gonna... No, it is. We're gonna do it, Tim. It saves zero time. Is There's it supposed to be like this time. time efficiency hack where it's like, you could, wow, instead of running up the stairs, you could, dude, by the time you actually spin it, 10 minutes will have gone by. You're just hating. You can't do it. It's partially true. Can't deny that. If I was successful yeah. at doing it, I would probably tell you that it is time efficient. Yeah, but you're not. Hey, I can get jug now. No, I'm not going to die. Someone left their ballistic knife on the ground. Oh, sorry. I don't want kids to pick it up. Could you imagine opening up like this long extended <laughs> Tootsie Roll on Halloween and there's a ballistic knife just hiding in there the machete do you check your kids halloween candy no yeah I'm a, i don't think i'm going to either survival of the fittest man what are the odds that your child is the one that accidentally bites down on a razor blade you know? i'm not concerned about that just, you know it happens drugs maybe would be a yeah because i want to do them why does he get to do them what the f yeah dude leave that for me Right? To be that oppressive and helicopter parenty, to be like, give me every little piece of candy. Let me ex inspect every one of them. Because <laughs> at that point, it's like, don't even go trick or treating, right? Well, what's the point of going trick or treating if you're having all of your candy examined? Because then it just feels like, ah, oh, like this is just lame. Like, let's just go to the grocery store at that point. Right? How old were you when you like went trick or treating on your own? Because there's like that solid like two years where you don't have to go with your parents. But it's still cool to trick or treat. Yeah, I think it depends entirely on what neighborhood you were raised in. I was raised in a very tight knit lane where everybody knew each other, and there was a dead end at a cul de sac, so it was real easy. My parents didn't really care if I went out alone. I would say probably like eight to ten is when I started doing that shit my own with my buddies. I don't think you would have liked to have known me when I was thirteen. I was so f annoying. I was pretty insufferable. Everybody is at thirteen. I was. When Even at 15, too. 16, I was still pretty unbearable. Not gonna lie. I think it was like when I was started my YouTube channel around 17, 18 is when I started to not be as impossible to be around. Yeah, that's the same. Like when I was before I started doing YouTube, like I was just dude. dude everybody's a little shit. Like yeah. you need something in your life to kind of like force you to kind of like grow up. Me. Would you rather uh, get? Uh, one million dollars right now or go back in time to when you were six and relive your life but you get to keep your knowledge i would relive I feel my like, life hey, and limit, keep my knowledge that's what i was gonna say i can see you doing that because i know exactly what to do screaming to your parents bitcoin bitcoin <laughs> oh look at our kid he's so cute you love your kids right yeah oh true can you successfully say that Everything you do is gonna recreate their no, existence. That's a thing. I don't think I can get Heather to. I don't think I can bamboozle her to fall in love with me again. I don't. <laughs> that was fool me once, the, shame how on the you. I did that. There is an alternate reality where I never hit you up on Twitter, and I'm like every other zombies YouTuber who just saw you was Im <laughs> immediately just turned off by you. It was just like, ugh, who's this? <laughs> Block. Every other guy in the community is like, who's this piece? Of and I'm the one f guy who's like, you know what? I think I can. I dead. think I can make this work. I think. I think this guy's. This guy's probably. Probably funny. The, the right call. Get him in the right room. Get him in the right context, and then take let's, it out of context. Let's get his cock. And let's see how canceled. Let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna spin for the mark, Marky Mark. Hey, what's this do? Oh, ignore that. It's all right. You can. You can do it again if you want. No, I. Up. I threw it no, that's all right. Far. I got one too. That's okay. And I just Aww. eliminated Jug and Speed. I'm such Aww, a. I wanted to be the one to do it to Jug. Uh, you beat me to it. You. We're gonna die. No, I got the RPD. It's fine. Well, no, actually, it's not fine because your dumbass did uh, Speed too. You. It's all right, we're gonna live. We're gonna live. Get the get, move. I can't move. What? Get the. You don't have to yell at me. There's an issue. Oh my word. god! I'm trying to get you, dog. I got uh. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know how I just died. I got one shot. At, all right, that's uh. fair. I feel like every day I learn something new that just like confirms all my thoughts and theories about this world. Aliens have probably visited Earth several times with actual proof, and the government just hasn't related to us.
Dude, I which think I understand to some extent. I, I, I think there's a. You gotta kind of understand why, I guess, though, because then you know society would erupt. We wouldn't know what to yeah. do with that. We would just start rioting and because sh there's a lot of other people in this world. Or the government doesn't want other countries to know that we have their technology because well, then they yeah, try yeah. to get it. Yeah, that's true. We want to keep it a secret. You know? I think we have an alien spacecraft. I think like long ass time ago, someone visited and ran out of fuel or something. Well, I mean, if you are a subscriber of the Bob Lazar theory, then yeah, that's that was discovered a long time ago. They were doing research for that in uh, Nevada, obviously. The whole Area 51, Los Alamos, UFO thingy. Do you think that if we had alien technology that if other countries found out about it would cast war on us do you think they would Not try to go war, to war with us but they would do everything in their power imaginable to get their hands it would be the most intense cold war of all time like how kind of like china's doing their whole psy up thing with us like like on tiktok and shit. you heard about that no like so tiktok is kind of owned by like a chinese company or some shit. Mm. and they're trying Which to is why i don't use it <laughs> yeah don't use tiktok it rots your brain which is why they're trying to like promote like degenerate and like just mind numbing shit to us in the US. But like if you go to like China's version of TikTok, it's all like science and math and shit. trying to like promote good things. I, I want a gun. <laughs> That's why you buy the M14 gang. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to hit it again just for that. Watch Ray Gun Mark 2. Yeah, go ahead and spite me and pick up the war machine. Prove your God, point. <laughs> yeah, like oh my god. Guess what I got? It's the better hundreds. than the war machine. Time. <laughs> got a game of four deck. Hey, grab that. Grab that double so I can shoot uh, these guys. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. no. Holy sh Wow. Thanks. Oh, see, ya. I saved you. Favorite kids show growing up. Ed and Eddie. Uh, you know what? I guess that's a kids show. What would you consider like a kids show back then? SpongeBob. Which, by the way, if the 1999 version of SpongeBob came out now. No, way. that would not be considered a kid show. I promise you. Hey, yo, what's up, my Nickelodeon? Whoa, you almost shot me. I tried to. Ah, uh, 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 uh. no, uh, can't touch uh. this. That for you, you can touch me. Oh, he died in a helicopter crash, man. He did. Most unfortunate. Didn't Kobe somebody? There was a bunch of allegations, for sure. I don't know if he did, personally. Like, I, I honestly, I didn't really I become a basketball it. fan until like way after that. So, I think that happened like in two thousand like seven or some. So I was literally like seven years old when that happened. I don't. You're Kobe Bryant. Like, you're still in the like even before you like you're famous. You're still in the NBA. Like, you can f anybody you want. I think the reason why that kind of stuff happens is purely because of the power dynamic. I think a lot of powerful people enjoy their power and really get a kick and a thrill out of abusing it that's not gonna understand I mean? that I, yeah. I you know i it's my yeah, guess it's like, i kind of like how you do to everybody else like when they ask to collab with you like you <laughs> yeah like the, the the hundreds <laughs> of people that have asked to <laughs> so many people are coming knocking down tim hansen's door yeah you're like no nah, at this I'm point it's it's basically just you God. lex and like conjura you rubbed off on me too much <laughs> it's not the only thing I rubbed off on. <laughs> that is pretty funny to see, like the trend. Like at first, like during the like the c custom zombie maps we did, everyone was like, "Oh, favorite YouTubers, Tim and Rabbit, love them." So we enjoyed like that for like a year or two, yeah. and then like once you get to a certain height of like stardom, popularity, whatever you want to call it, it just flips. Yeah. And then everybody. F well, that's how you know you made it. Yeah. Because everybody likes the come-up story. And I know this because I feel the same way about other people. Mr. Beast is a pretty good example of that, too. Like, people will try to cancel him nowadays for, like, the smallest of things. Yeah, see, that's the thing. People like the come-up. They don't like long-term success. They want to see new all the time. If you're yep. successful for too long, you need to get the f*** out of the way for the next guy. They like a rise and fall story. <laughs> I have, like, AIDS or something, dude. So you gotta get close to me so I can spread it to you. Oh, uh, please. It was two days ago, yeah. Uh, Olin had a fever. He was hanging out on the couch just watching TV for like hours and he was really tired and kind of dozing off. 
And he just seemed completely out of it, because usually he's super energetic. I'm like, oh god, something's, something's weird here. He felt super warm, so I'm like, he must have a fever. And then he vomits everywhere. Ah. Uh. Vomits all the food he <sighs> ate all day. All over the couch, his blanket, the pillow, his toy, everything, dude. The in Half the couch was just covered in vomit. You just throw it away and buy a new one at that point? I mean, I, I did what I could, you know. There was a lot of couch. laundry I had to do that day. Had to scrub the couch for a long time. Had to individually shower off each item to clean the vomit off of it. So I was just, I was just ho basically just handling vomit for hours. Ugh. And to be completely honest, I have a strong stomach, man. I can handle it. I gotta be honest. I can handle vomit. Like, I can handle my me. own son's vomit. I can handle my my vomit. I think with other people's vomit, that's where I would draw the line for sure. Isn't that weird how it's like different when it's your kid? Yeah. Or like your pet or your something. Like you, it's just different. I like naturally feel obligated to do it. Like, I, never what it is. I can't confirm nor deny this because I have never seen a dead body. But I have a feeling if I saw a dead body, I wouldn't be one of those people that like faints. Or anything like that, I would just kind of look at it and be like, oh. Yeah, that's a dead body. I would be uncomfortable. I just wouldn't, like, freak the f out about it. I'd just be like, oh, well, you know, that person was alive at one point. Not anymore. Yeah. Same thing with vomit, blood. I'm not grossed. I'm not easily grossed out, to be honest. I just can't do blood. <laughs> I just can't, uh, why? Dude. Sorry. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. I need some tombstone to wash it down. <laughs> I did clean up killer's vomit in Japan, but I kind of felt responsible for that. He lost it that night in like yeah. the best way possible it was like outside of my airbnb and i didn't want to get in trouble yeah and he was in no f mental capacity to be cleaning <laughs> that up at the moment yeah like we were both we were all really like i won't speak on your behalf but killer especially and myself we were f annihilated you, i think you were a little bit more than me i was probably in between you two because yeah. killer was just falling down staircases and vomiting i think you got harder drinks than because i was just doing rum and coke i gotta be honest though i was I spinning so much i was like on the verge the entire night i remember laying down that night resting my head <laughs> down finally because if you're walking around and active like you don't even notice it as much to be honest yeah it's when you lay down you get the spins you're like oh, fuck. for like an hour i just stared at the ceiling in the dark just praying it would go <laughs> away like just just praying that i wouldn't just Dude, I did vomit everywhere it's like, oh god, the oh god, oh god, so oh god, cold. oh god. It felt so good. We gotta do that again. That was fun. Yeah. We're, we're, we're describing, like, basically near-death experiences. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> let's 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 repeat that. All right, let's get Lex. <laughs> Thing is, he would do it. He would. It sucks that Conjura lives all the way over that sh country. Yeah. I'd love to have a chill out and, like, drink with him. Funny thing is, I've met Lex before, and he just didn't know it. I met him when I was him at, like, 16. Uh, I met him at ZWC2. That's yeah. And I was like three inches shorter and was it was even more of a baby face than I am now. Like zero facial hair. And I just walked up there and I took pictures, awkwardly took pictures with all of them. You and still have those pictures? Yes. You got to tweet that shit out. I took one with Greg, Pat, Lex, Milo. This lava, dude. You're f***ing the lava? I'm trying, man, but... Hey, that's my family. You're f***ing... Not recommended. Oh, I just died. <laughs> I see your little tombstone. I didn't get to use tombstone. I don't care. You guys know what I tombstone didn't does. I get to use tombstone. I am not re-re-recording that. Oh my god. Fun chat. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Again, leave a like if you want BO3. I don't know why I just I turned mean, into a But make sure to subscribe and check out Crazy Rabbit's channel. Bye-bye.